Hello, my name is Pat Meyerhofer, president and founder of Nature Stones Incorporated. I'm here today at Elk Orcs to share with you uh, a stone arm routine that we've developed that is very efficient. So if you'll bear with me a second, the first thing that I would like to do is to show you how to drape for a, a good arm routine. You're gonna take your sheet and you're gonna tuck it underneath the shoulder. And then you're gonna pull it very tight and you're gonna tuck it in on the side so that your client feels very secure that they're not exposed. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put a sufficient amount of lubricant on the arm. When you're doing stone massage, you wanna make sure that you always have a sufficient amount. Unless you're doing therapeutic work. With therapeutic work, you wanna use little to no lubricant. So I make sure that I cover the entire arm because the routine will address all the muscles in the arm. Selected a pair of stones <clears throat> that feel very comfortable in my hand. You do an introductory stroke, hands up, hands down. Stones all the way up, stones all the way down. And you make sure that you use a sufficient amount of pressure. You go back up again, and as you do, you slide your hand down in a Pac-Man fashion, take the arm out, turn your body around as if to sit on the table, come through the pecs, down the arm, and as you glide back up, you move the arm forward. And each time you move the arm more superior, you move your stone more medial. You come down, you bend the arm on the table, and you're gonna do hand over hand, tricep bicep. You're gonna slide your hand underneath the elbow and you're gonna rest their forearm on your forearm. And you're gonna do a water pump. And you do that, you make sure that you bend the arm from the elbow toward the floor and not go forward so that you get a good stretch in those muscles. And then you're gonna slide down through the armpit and down the side and back up. And as you come up, you grab the wrist with both hands stand at the corner of the table, and take the arm across the body. And then you do hand over hand, shoulder to elbow. Slide your hands down, grab the wrist with both hands, do range of motion, and take the arm down at the side of the table. And then you do an exit stroke, all the way up, all the way down, and off the fingertips. You're going to select another pair of stones. I have a pocket on, which helps when you're doing a limb because you can have the entire set of stones that you need, you can have with you so you don't have to walk away from the client. Introduce the stones, hands all the way up, hands all the way down. Stones up, stones down. And as you come down, you shake hands with your client. You're going to drop three fingers down and you're going to hold the stone on its edge and you're gonna slide through the inner osseous membrane between the ulnar and the radius. You do at least three passes, and then you're gonna hold the stone on the brachial radialis. You hold it there, and you're gonna do a press and stretch. So it's press, supinate, back, and release. Press, supinate, release, and back. Press, supinate, release, and back. This is a great routine for carpal tunnel. Slide to the back of the wrist, and then you're gonna move in inch increments as you bend the hand down. You do a press, stretch, release, and move. All the way down the arm. And then you're gonna do a glide and stretch. Come to the back of the hand, turn the hand over, and again, you're gonna drop three fingers down. You're gonna hold the stone and you're gonna glide through the inner osseous membrane between the ulnar and the radius. Then you're gonna hold the stone and you're gonna do a press and stretch. Press, bend, and move an inch. 
come back to the wrist, and you're going to do a glide and bend. Then you do an exit stroke off the fingertips. And then you're going to select a smaller pair of stones to work the hand. You do an introductory stroke. Shake hands with your client. And you're first going to work the back of the hand. You're going to use a little less pressure as you work through um, the tendons. And then you work the back of the wrist, again with a press and stretch. It's more of a glide and stretch. Turn the hand over. And as you hold the hand, you want to make sure that you hold the thumb out with your thumb so that you can work up the base of the thumb. You also want to make sure that you don't hold their thumb down, that you have your thumb inside of theirs. And then you're going to work the palm of the hand. And then you're going to work through the wrist, again with a, a glide and stretch. Turn the hand back. And then you come off each finger with the stone underneath. And then you do an exit stroke. So again, I'm going to run through it, and this time just to show you how it flows. And then for the last pair, we do the hand. Always a complete introductory stroke. Shake hands. and then an exit stroke. Thank you very much. For more information on seminars, uh, please go to our website, www.naturestonesinc.com. Thank you very much.